Mitch in Central Oregon writes, I purchased a PS Audio Strata Integrated from you and absolutely love it. That's a good piece. Then I added the Perfect Wave SACD player. So do I actually have a damn question? <laughs> well, sure I do. As you know, the Strata can connect to the Perfect Wave SACD player using XLR or I squared S. The preferred and the method I use is I squared S. So why is this better than using the noise canceling XLR? Thanks for all your continuing help and filling in where my local hi-fi store once provided support. Why? Okay. So, I squared S is a very different format than XLR. And to be clear about his question, we know from our many talks that an XLR cable, a balanced cable, has the quality of noise cancellation, common mode rejection, things that come in common on the two signals are rejected so that it's lower noise. And in an audio signal, an analog audio signal, that's really important. Now, noise in a digital signal is critically important, but not so much those low frequencies like 60 hertz, like 120, those things that come into XLR cables that, uh, or RCA cables that XLRs get rid of. So it's not quite as important. Secondly, an XLR digital output from your SACD player is SPDIF, the Sony Philips digital interface, okay, SPDIF. And that is a multiplexed version of I squared S. What does that mean? Well, I squared S has a data line, a master clock, and a bit clock. And it also has what we call I squared C, which is a control thing. But let's just take those three things, right? So you've got the digital audio data, you've got the clock data, and you've got more clock data. Those three things are inside every CD, SACD player, and that's how it all operates. They're inside every DAC, and that's what every DAC uses as its core base of transmission, of routing signals around. SPDIF takes those three, multiplexes them together into one. When you send that out, you then have to receive it in the DAC and then tear it apart again back into those three fundamentals. So you start with three, you squeeze it down to one, you then fan it back out. And that process of multiplexing it and pulling it apart is a source of trouble. And trouble is something that we would like to avoid if at all possible, <laughs> right? So always stick with I squared S. Yes, it's not as quiet from a common mode rejection because it's using an HDMI cable that is shielded, but it's not as good as a balanced cable. But in this case, we don't really care. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks.